Hey Deckers, welcome back to Remnant 2. It got a fairly significant patch yesterday, so we thought we'd dive back in on deck and see just how much of a difference these performance and crashing fixes have had. Not to mention there is a ton of quality of life fixes that we're not really going to care about for this one, as we are purely interested in the performance. Still no compatibility mode needed for this one. And I must say, I'm actually quite impressed that there is a significant difference between the release version, which you can see on the left here, and the quality of the patch version, which you can see on the right. It's so much clearer, and it just feels a lot smoother with our recommended settings. Unfortunately, the settings that it gives you out of the box still aren't great. But as you can see here, running our settings from the previous video, which I'll recap here, pretty much all low and 30 FPS frame cap with the Intel XESS upscaler at quality. Do not turn the VSync on if you're going to run below 60 frames per second because it seems to conflict with the frame cap on deck and it makes it a completely jittery experience. So as you can see there, it's really not good to have that on. So keep VSync off and just cap the Steam Deck at 30 frames per second to keep those temperatures and battery down as low as possible. SteamOS 3.5, which is what I'm running here, is bugged, hence I have to cap mine at 60 to actually be 30. And this is why you got the nice overlay at the top. So I'm hoping they hurry up and get this out into the mainstream because I do love this new overlay. As you will see, this is so much smoother, especially capped at 30 frames per second. It does hold it very well. It does still have a few minor dips here and there, but it's really not very noticeable. But what is noticeable is the quality bump on the character and graphics. With these settings, it's running so much smoother. The only thing is that the battery drain does now seem to stick a little bit higher, up around the 27, especially in battles. But this was a little bit lower in the previous version, so you're not going to be able to play it for just as long. Inside in some of the areas, like the hatchery here, if you are in this world, it does stay a little bit lower, around the 25 mark, but it's definitely sitting a little bit higher than it used to be, even with that 30 frames per second cap. So definitely a lot better in the patch version. I hope to see more improvements of this soon. And I really do advise running with a partner as this game is so much more fun and a lot easier as well when you have a partner. It's extremely challenging on your own. Let us know in the comments below if you've seen as much of a difference as we have and if you found any better settings, but we have been playing this a while and these settings definitely seem to be the best. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.